The first time Dwayne Wade met Kobe was in his rookie year, and his three favorite players were Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson, and Kobe Bryant. His 10th game in pro basketball was against the Los Angeles Lakers, and the Lakers were built up as a super team, including Shaq, Kobe, Malone, and Peyton at the starting lineup. I told Kobe the story at the 2016 NBA All-Star Game when he allowed us, Chris Paul, Carmelo, and me to host a thank you dinner. During the fourth quarter of the Lakers game, Wade got the opportunity to guard Kobe Bryant for the first time. Wade says, it was in transition and I was scared as hell. And I remember thinking to myself, you've watched him over and over and you know his move. And I just guessed right. Wade took the ball from Kobe by stripping it, and it would have no meaning if he'd not finished the play at the basket. So he came down and hit the floater. I just talked to myself. I cannot believe what just happened. I'm calling all my boys at the crib. Let them know I just ripped Kobe Bean Bryant. Kobe didn't remember the moment. It was not big for him, but it meant the world for Wade. He got the chance to play his idol for the first time and had a big moment. Wade finished the game with 10, Kobe with 27. The Lakers beat the Heat 99-77. The next year, 2004-2005, Shaquille O'Neal got traded to the Miami Heat. And right away, Kobe and Wade pinned against each other. Wade understood the situation, the business, and the championship mindset. Every time we play against each other, I acted like I didn't care them playing against my idol. Elbows, he falls. Don't help him out. All these things I had to get used to, and it was hard. I grew up, and I wanted to be just like him. Wade earned respect from his idol, Kobe Bryant, when he got the chance to play in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. They had their first real conversation on the day before the first practice. 6.30 in the morning, my trainer Tim Grover gets me up and says, Hey, you got to get out there and work before we go out for the practice. And I go to the weight room. There's only one other person in the weight room. It's Kobe Bryant. And we're on the opposite end. Towards the end of the workout, it was a drill Tim made us do that you had to get you to push up position and hold yourself to see how long you can do it. And he paired Kobe and me right next to each other so he could see who could hold each other the longest. Their competitive drive was there and significantly was the longest ever Dwayne Wade did. Kobe stood up and said, you just like me. Tim, why didn't you ever tell me this? You just like me. From that moment on, Wade earned Kobe's respect.